Uh, apparently, if I press share on the PS4, it cuts the broadcast off. This has just been a wonderful day of technical problems. Out of my way, core. Trying to cut you down here. Pull crumbling columns to the ground and swing them to topple even the fiercest foes. The fuck am I supposed to do that? <laughs> no way! Oh, damn! Alright, it might be easier just to do this, huh? Excuse me. I gotta kill this Ankylosaurus with this shit. Oh, damn. Core did some good damage there. Come on at me, bros. You can't handle the gladiolus. Damn. Huh. Oh, that was wonderful. Still looking for items. Have you seen any? I don't see it anymore. I don't trust it though. Hey, there's no. chance for the warriors to impart their wisdom. It won't come easy though. You'll have to earn it. Have you seen my abs? Look at how much I earned these. That's cool. To do. Oh my god, this fucking... Oh, Jesus.
And I have to use a potion. Jesus. I thought I hit it. Fuck. Ah, I missed it. I thought I hit my finishing blow and I'm the one who got fucking smashed. Wow. Hmm. Is that shit gonna wear off? I don't see if there's any items over here. <laughs> Such a sad, sad state. Fair th oh, I didn't see that. Should have used that during the battle. That would have probably been helpful. Oh. Well. But I guess not. And dreams. Is that what that dragon's voice is? <laughs> That's your fourth young warrior. Gladiolus has completed the second of the Souls Trials. He can now perform the Maelstrom Glaive Art when his valor is high. Look ahead for the shield of the king must safeguard our future. <laughs> The skill shared by these souls has been passed down for generations. The shield of the king will do well to put them to good use. Items, items, anyone, items?
Mm, you could just kind of spam the block and then hit. Right. The game's pretty easy. Thanks for yeah. the vote of confidence. Look on the bright side. Everyone loves an underdog. Oh, uh, we all know you core and your jokes. <laughs> you really should have been a stand up comedian, core. I'm losing my voice because I'm trying to do a gladiol superstition. It's going, it's going, it's gone. I fell. There's another one. Die, eh? It's all yours, Marshal. Well, don't mind if I do. No. Oh, is it Maelstrom I need to hit that five times? That's probably it. not even going for me.
Know thy boundary snatch. <laughs> Bramble snatch. That's an even better name. Another item, huh? Another potion. Hmm. What is? Check. Anything that says how many I'm supposed to have? So much for New Game Plus. Am I right? Should be like a level 74 right now. Will you stand tall? Even when your flesh fails you? Or will you fall to your knees? Will you stand tall? <laughs> yes. Don't see any items. <laughs> God, he looks so much closer than he is. Come on, buddy. Hopefully we're close to the end. I feel like I've gotten every item, but... Some Patels were not close to the end. I'm one hour in this and I've been grabbing all the fucking items. Episode Gladioli Lelos. any good items around don't worry game I see it there we go. All right. Might as well take a break. Might as well.
Ooh, I got a text. Uh, this is an important text. Hold on, guys. Someone read my script and said it's beautiful. Aww. That's nice. It only took eight drafts to be. To be to this point. When are you thinking of shooting it? Hopefully sometime in the summer. Gotta budget it. <laughs> All right. I thought I'd make my way back to the tempering grounds. You said it's been 30 years. Were you as immortal then as you are now? If you want to know, I'll talk. Yeah. <laughs> Please talk. The Blade Master. What was he like? I don't remember much, except for those eyes. They pierced my heart and peered right into my soul. It was like she knew my every move even before I did. Try as you may, there's no fool in those eyes. <laughs> we'll see about that. <sighs> Whenever you're ready. Alright, one sec guys, one sec. Sorry, one, one more time. Let's continue on. I'm real jittery, guys. Person I really wanted to like the script, like the script. I know no one's fucking watching this right now, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> In the future, this was the day that a certain actor got back to me and said they liked the script. They did not like the previous draft. So... <laughs> He who protects the king must boast muscle and metal, both finely tempered. Metal. Think, speaking of metal, listen to this soundtrack. Alright, come at me, bro. Ah, I wasted that. Keep on wasting that maelstrom.
All right, let me pause this, guys. And I gotta go to the bathroom, so. I'll be back. <laughs>
Ha ha ha. Well, ladies and gents, it seems like we might have a lead actor. Yeah, it's too soon to, like, talk about it. But, uh... Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. You're pathetic. Good lord. I took care of that guy pretty good, actually. Alright. Huh! Writing another note here. Get in there. It's the cocktails. Okay. That's not the trophy. Hmm. I'm checking the trophy list. That doesn't seem right. It's all yours, Marshall. 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 All right. Picked up all the items. Uprooted all columns? Fuck. I didn't know that was one of them. Shit. Perform five link strikes with core. I feel like I just did that. Alright, fuck it. 
I'm not going for this anymore. I, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I, I'd have to go back and do all the columns, and I am not willing to do that. Not right now. Be true, for the shield of the king must deceive none, not even himself. Yeah, easier said than done. Hitting hard. These are all guys based on Epic of Gilgamesh with Zenkidu, Humbaba. I remember that shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Am I gonna have to do this on like every boss? Oh, did I fucking miss it? Oh, fuck, I missed it. Continue from last checkpoint. I just want to jump like a psycho while I'm trying to pick up a fucking item. Whoa! This wasn't the last checkpoint. Oh, you fucker. This is the beginning of the fucking game! Oh, I'm not happy about this. Uh-uh. Yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. You didn't even take me to the last checkpoint. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I'm gonna do some of that shit again. Which is not fun. Long ago, the traitors of Red waged war against the rest of Hexatheon. Many moons passed as the embittered battle raged on, culminating in a clash between Muhammad and Ifrit, in which the latter was laid asunder atop the rock of Ravato. Telper Craig 
Crag, <laughs> the Grand Gorge dividing Duske and Klein, exemplifies the severity of the war of the Astrals while also symbolizing the rift that separated the six. Whoo! Uh, not the easiest. Like I was more in the center of everything. Save all that shit up on this guy so that the Iron Giant gets hit with that Maelstorm at full strength. That is the plan. 
We be, we Be give your power. For the shield of the king must deceive none, not even himself. Yeah, easier said than done. Here we go, back to where it was. The shield is low, sinking before none. Not the art. Knowledge of the ass. I get him in a glitch, he had to move forever. Gladiol has completed the third of the Souls Trials, and Aura envelops his blade, allowing him to deal damage nice to Nice work. Him. Maybe you've got what it takes after all. Maybe. But it ain't for you or me to decide. Descent. Uh, time to take a load off. <laughs> you don't mind if I stop in sentence to talk about how I need to take a nap, do ya? Oh, that's a beautiful s scene to go get some Kool-Aid on. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs>
Yes. Please save my progress. Well, what about you? I want to know what was going through your head back then. You that interested in me? Yeah, I'm always interested in your core. I mean, you were a lot younger than I am. And a lot brasher, too, if you can believe it. Wouldn't listen to a single word anyone said. And I thought I was invincible. No one could stop me. Until he cut me down to size. I was cast out in defeat. My hubris laid bare for all to see. You really are immortal, they said. And it stuck. It's rough. Still, you made it back alive. Something no one else has ever done. And I respect that. Uh, whenever you're ready. Come here to die, have you? You're looking to die again. You amuse, but do not impress. You lack his conviction. Whose? He who traversed these caves some thirty years ago. Turning a deaf ear to our wails and wishes, he proceeded unfazed, eyes ever forward. Yet he proved powerless before the general, cast out in defeat. If even he... Nah, should have let him finish. Yeah. It's like a hello, but with your sword. Clarice would have tried to stop you, you know. Just like he tried to stop me. All those years ago. How come? Because one aspiring to the role of King's Shield can stake his life for none but his liege. Not even for himself. Do you dare risk all? For not in return. His words stayed with me. And he was right. I barely made it back with nothing to show for it. So you're gonna stop me? No, I won't. But I will warn you one last time of the danger you're about to face. Just like your father warned me. Once you set foot through that door, there's no turning back. And no one to help you if you fall. Except for the five save points. <laughs> one false step and it may prove your last. You might have to go back to a save point. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll come back with a souvenir. Just come back alive. Be safe, Gladio. Da da da. Well, that's cool. I gotta grab the potions and the Phoenix Downs. There's a chill in the air. I can feel his presence. You better be ready for me. either the final boss or the midpoint. Everybody told me this was two hours, but I'm at an hour and I try to do extra stuff. I'm here. Well, we should go brute force. Yeah. Let's see if you can handle it. 
What do I do? Just take a potion? Things get too rough? Blind reliance on strength and all of the usual weakness of war. It's not true, I've blocked. A couple times. <laughs> So shall you. I didn't come here to die. I came here to prove to you unworthy. Oh, Jesus. Second part of the boss. Oh, that's bullshit. Yeah! 
Damn. I kneel before no man. Not exactly the souvenir I had in mind. It took me a while, but I realized something. You're right. I am afraid. <sighs> afraid of accepting the fact that maybe I'm not really cut out for the job I'm expected to do. But hey, at least I'm not walking away empty-handed. I'd better get going. I may be all muscle and no metal. But I'm gonna keep protecting Noct. The only way I know how. Hmm. Spoken like a true shield of the king. Fear and doubt beget death alone. He who averts his gaze from his own faults cannot himself a true shield call. But you, having made peace with your inner self, have proven you are worthy. The Chosen King should be so fortunate as to have a man like yourself serving at his side. You mean... And with this glaive, I entrust my power to you. Ah, oh, sweet. Do I get a new sword in the campaign? Probably not. <laughs> You. Taken from the young man who impressed me with his strength of will. It was with this very blade he stole from me my arm. But I can't accept this. If he still walks among the living, a man of his metal will have doubtless transcended attachment to mere material possessions. <laughs> You're probably right. In that case. Don't mind if I do. Now, hasten forth. With mind unclouded by doubt and will unmoved by fear. The last king of Lucis is ill fit to fight without his shield. Thanks again. Made it. Sure did. And so quickly. I'm impressed. Brought this back with me too. Figured you might get a kick out of it. <laughs> I wondered where I put that thing. Well, you get that sword for complaining. Well, it's not really connected to my regular Jesus. save, so I'm Thanks really. For a better souvenir than that scar. I don't know how that works. You know, he mentioned he lost his arm in battle with a real hot-headed young guy back in the day. That's so. Whoever it was left a lasting impression on him. Talked about how the guy had the strongest will he'd ever seen. It takes more than will to complete the trial. You need to wield your weapon with a primal finesse. If you fail to prove your might, you get cast out empty-handed. I don't know. He didn't oh, cool. Think the guy would let it bother him. Said the guy's too old to care about material things anymore. <laughs> if he's still alive. <laughs> Gladio. Huh? I hope you feel more confident in light of your success today. Few men can lay claim to such an accomplishment. Not even Core the Immortal. Yeah, but I didn't earn myself a badass nickname like he did. Still, I'm glad I went through with it. I can finally say I'm truly ready to fulfill my duty. Good. Well, I guess this shield better mosey on back to his king. Wouldn't want him to get scared without me. And I'm gonna go hide in a power plant. 
in a costume real quick. And that's not going to be explained at all. That's what I was waiting for for this thing. Why was Gladio in a power plant? Why? So that's how you got it. What do you think? Very perpendicular. Really compliments the one you got when you saved Knock from that bully. Yeah. Only difference is, this time, I ended up taking a pretty bad beating, too. Uh, not unlike the licking the Marshal received back when he was a lad. Must have had a lot of guts to go up against Gilgamesh back then. Yeah. Dad said he used to be a real firecracker. The more you know. Hmm. If the Blade Master sequestered himself during the Founder King's reign, then he's haunted those halls for some two millennia. That's a long time. All those years waiting for the Chosen King to arise? You sure know how to take your sweet old time. What can I say? I'm worth the wait. Give me a break! And I as well. <sighs> Just because you got a shield to protect you now doesn't mean you get to slack off. Hey, check out my sword. I'm never letting that thing leave my sight. Ready. Uh, yeah, I'm doing the... So I'm playing through the game on New Game Plus. And then in the chapters when they take off, I go ahead and do the DLC. So I think... I think Prompto leaves in Chapter 9... From what I was reading, and Gladio is like chapter twelve, or uh, Ignis is like chapter twelve. Share your certification completion. What? Sure, dude. Is this gonna go on Twitter? Ha! <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right. I'm sure my snow, I'm good. I just shared it. Unlocked score attack mode. Unlocked the final trial. Acquired the Genji Blade. Learn the dual master glaive art. For Maelstrom, press triangle to unleash a devastating combo. Long ago. Uh, oh, shorter loading screen. Wow. Score attack. Our point says taking down many enemies. Shouldn't it be as many enemies as quickly as possible? Is there a typo in here? Grammar's weird. Ah, uh, thank you, Mickey. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll not be back on for quite a few months. <laughs> I moved to Colorado for a seasonal gig. Uh, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. Sure, let's try this uh, game mode. String several strikes together into a combo and boost your bonus multiplier and earn more points. There's something about like 1 million points and like 500,000 points. Those were the trophies. It looks like I did not get every item, which really pisses me off, because I really tried to get every item. There's probably a guide online. This is exactly how many potions and shit there is. I also never did the core thing. Like, I didn't get what that was about. Like, we're supposed to do some sort of attack together, but... The attack we do together didn't count towards that because I definitely did it more than five times. So, mail like the maelstrom thing didn't count. Very confused by the trophies. A well-tempered Gladio. Ooh. Ooh, is that counting down? Fuck. Fuck you. I 
I gotta run to it? Do I get a counter? <laughs> I gotta run to the next area? Wow. And this this battle music is sweet <laughs> for um for an old metalhead like me. Try this. Ah, I should use that. Oh my god, move through it. Jesus. It's time to go down the water slide. <laughs> okay, I'm here now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Forgot about the snake. I don't know why I decided to target its fucking tail. Can I target it? There we go. Can I target a part of the body I can actually hit? Don't think I'm gonna get the score I'm looking for. They don't have the items here. That's lame. I have to go through the whole cutscene rigmarole. 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 Come on, guys. There we go. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm not gonna be anywhere near that 500,000. I don't think I'm gonna do it, guys. I don't think I'm gonna go for the trophies. Because there's one above that. There's one that's a million. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, speed through. I don't know how to go any faster unless it just wants me to run. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'd have to I'd have to look up a guide or something. For stage one. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's 10 minutes for each stage. Ooh. I wasn't ready for a 40 minute uh, excursion here. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I really am. <laughs> I don't want to replay the whole goddamn thing. What's this other battle mode we seek? I say seek? God, what the fuck's wrong with me? Hall of Fame? Zero. Viewer high scores. Nothing. You quit like a little bitch. Didn't you, Gladio? Final trial. Spar against Cor Cor the Immortal. Well, yeah, I get it now, you know. You just play through the whole damn thing. You get a whole bunch of points. I could have probably gotten 500,000 points, actually. I was doing 100,000 on the first of four. So I could have probably gotten a trophy for that. Not that I give a shit about trophies. Son of a less than affluent household, Kor enlisted in the Crown's Guard at the tender age of 13. His impressive physical prowess earned him the respect of his superiors, as well as a position of... As one of the King's Moors, the King's Moors' personal bodyguards, making the then 15 year old Kor the youngest to ever serve on royal security detail. I would not have given him that job. Huh? Congratulations, Gladio. You accomplished that which oh, I damn. Care to show this failure how it's done? Bruce the slave master and you'll be immortal. If you don't catch a break. Not on my watch. Ready? Too slow. He's a dodgy little motherfucker. Oh, I only get three potions? 
Oh, that's some that's some shit. <laughs> Oops, clicked the wrong button. Thinking I was playing a different game. Oh my god. Look, I gotta fight against Gilgamesh with potions. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I'm fucked here, guys. Oh, I'm so fucked. right now oh you fucking asshole Jesus yeah I'm fucked there's no way if I had all those Phoenix sounds I might be able to do it <laughs> I will be dead. All right. All right. I had enough of episode Gladio. So these are my notes. I'll return to the title. And I'm recapping for the video. So we started with the flashback at the campsite. Um, where they're like, hey, man, what'd you do? Um, then Gladio gets a call from Kor. They meet at a diner. And, uh, Kor's like, you sure you want to take on the Blade Master? And then we find out that the Blade Master is Gilgamesh, who's in a cave that they, uh, recently rediscovered. Uh, this episode has a sweet metal battle theme. Um, a weird purple Gilgamesh. I was expecting, actually, the design of 5 and 12 um there's a part where Gilgamesh asks what do you want and Gladiolus goes power and you're gonna give it to me uh and then we find out of course that uh he gets to have the power of serving as the king's shield um and has some like special powers and shit with it um but in order to get special sword with the special powers um Gladiolus needs to defeat a bunch of enemies in the cave other mini bosses and um you know he gets one and he can block gets another and he can finally do damage he finds out that his father didn't do the trial he didn't want to embarrass everybody I guess <laughs> um I put a note that the creatures are really cool uh there's a disappointing final battle uh, which is the battle that makes Gladio worthy. But he does defeat him. And, um... And Gladiolus kind of jokes around that Kor probably did actually finish the challenge. Uh, unlike he said he didn't. At least that's what I got out of the ending credits there. So yeah, it was alright. I didn't mind it. It was alright. It was... It was a fun little detour. It would have been cool to unlock that in the game and not with money. <laughs> oh, it says when I've done it. Cool. So prompt is next. I gotta play a little bit of 15 to get where prompto, this prompto stuff's at. God, I forgot I, I have to stay up six more hours, guys. 
It's ridiculous. What is a special? Ah, oh, still that thing. All right, what do we got here? Seventy-three hundred two, seventy-three ten, uh, seventy-three ten forty-six versus seventy-three ten nineteen. Forty-six is a few seconds later. It's probably my manual save. That was the, am I sure it's saved, dude? Save. Someone said that when you get PlayStation Plus with the PlayStation 5, you get Final Fantasy 15 for free. Which really makes me mad. <laughs> but what made me even more mad is that he said that the loading times were nothing. That's an obnoxious thing to hear. And I'm on the old trusty PS4. Every time I play this game, about every 20 minutes, <laughs> I gotta sit for another three minutes while well, the goddamn game loads. Still love it. Still love this game. Although New Game Plusing it is just like melting through everything. It's definitely taking some of the sheen off of the uh, combat system that I liked or had fun with. It is a little janky though. I do think the FF7 remake is an improvement now that I'm replaying 15. I'm not sure if I said that in the FF7 remake, but that's how I feel about it now. Playing them close together like this. I still like this system. I still like the battle system. Did anything happen while I was gone? Yeah. Oh. The car got room here. Smart ass. <laughs> oh, what a perfect way back into the original game. You see this nut? What about it? Uh, I think the trailer sucks, so unfortunately like, I am excited for there to be another Final Fantasy, but it didn't really pull me on the hype train very well. Do you think we could swing by the cup noodle shop for a sec? No. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that goddamn cup. Like them. They're easy to make whenever you've got a craving, and they're delicious to boot. <laughs> I'll never forget my first time. Must have been real eye-opening after all the fine dining you did before that. Uh, I forgot about that shit. Oh, that's so great. I should do that quest. What am I going to? Yeah, and I'm a little concerned because it's the team behind 14. And they obviously pulled, like, a really big battle director of another series in to... You know, spruce it up, I guess. So, I know the gameplay is going to be good. And that's awesome. Everybody wants that. But the storytelling in 14 is lacking a lot of things that the other Final Fantasy games have. And that concerns me. And this, the trailer made it... The trailer was a big confusing mess. And as a trailer, like as a video, as a piece of art, or like a piece of like miniature storytelling that a trailer is, it really failed. I was like, if these are the guys who are also in charge of the cutscenes for 16, we're in trouble. I don't know if that's the case, 
But yeah, that trailer was real lame. Real lame. A 15 had amazing trailers, and then like a third of the content from the trailers wasn't in the game. So obviously, like, hopefully they're making up for that. That's what a lot of people who are hopeful are saying. But, I don't know. Just just give me more mystery, not confusion. Whatever. Fast travel? I don't want to fast travel. Let's get in the car. Enjoy the drive. When 15 had the storytelling on fucking point, for the most part, had a couple missing scenes and the Luna Freya subplot is not as well fleshed out as it probably should be. But it really had the core characters there, so the emotional connection in the game is in here. Um, just because of how much time you get with these guys and like when you're stopping to level up and camp and stuff like that when you're playing it not on New Game Plus um, you really get the time to love the characters and to be on the journey with them um, and Final Fantasy hadn't been that fucking good with character work since FF10 um, and it, I think it does an even better job than that so Fifteen kind of nailed it in that direction. I'm a little afraid they're gonna backtrack <laughs> and like make an amazing game, like gameplay-wise, and then just like forget that you know. Ever since FF2, we've been at least fifty percent into these games for the story. So, gotta give us a good story too. But you know, that's all based on a tr one trailer. I have hope. But uh, I'm not that excited about it, which is a sad day. Sad day. <laughs> Maybe I've just played too many of these games, a.k.a. all of them. And I'm no longer, now I'm numb to it. I don't know. But so I definitely didn't feel the hype. I'm pics of whatever catches my eye, but what do you want to see? Uh, I want to see me. <laughs> I guess? No prob. Uh, me. me, I guess? No, I was kidding. <laughs> and yes, this is better than a loading screen. <laughs> Beautiful game. Did he signal? I didn't check. We don't always mean to check on those turns whether or not he's signaling. You like the view? Huh. Want to get a picture? Hey, you know, I couldn't do this justice. I fucking went in there earlier, huh? That's cool. That's a cool little detail. A brave new world. You know, I read the book Brave New World like three months ago, and I hardly remember it. Hmm. That's sad. <laughs> this is relaxing, man. This is what 15 is all about. Car rides. Was those the canceled DLCs? I don't know, that canyon thing is the canyon Gladiolus goes through. 
looked exactly the same. There's a part where you could look out into the, in the last DLC. So that wasn't... I mean, the canyon that I was talking about was not a canceled DLC. I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Brave New World's the name of this quest, and also the name of a very famous book about a dystopian future um, where people basically don't have free thought. And I remember really liking it, but I don't remember the book. I know as soon as I pull up a Wikipedia article, I'll remember the whole goddamn thing. Dystopian fiction novel written in 1931. Uh, largely set in a futuristic world state. New citizens are environmentally engineered into until. Oh! I'm remembering it now. Okay. Into an intelligence based social hierarchy. The novel anticipates huge scientific advancements in reproductive technology, sleep learning. Psychological manipulation and classical condition conditioning that are combined to make a dystopian society which is challenged only by a single individual. Mm, really looking forward to Iris' cooking. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aw, oh, don't be that way. It's different when a girl cooks for you. Ranked by the Modern Library uh, at number five on the list of 100 best English language novels of the 20th century. Uh, someone else ranked it number 53 of the 100 greatest novels of all time. Yeah, I'm starting to remember it. I'm starting to remember, like, there was people that were on the outside. There were the Indians. And I don't remember any of this shit. It is really good. But my fucking... Long-term memory is just becoming a shit now. I don't know why. Short-term memory is alright. I can keep something in me for a couple weeks. Get aboard the boat, knocked. Hey! Let's get a shot with the lighthouse. Hair blowing in the breeze? We'll be seaside supermodels. I'm not collecting on New Game Plus, buddy. I already platinum this fucking I'm game. Really feeling it. Maybe another time. Aww, but I wanted to be a seaside supermodel. One of these days, the entire planet's gonna go dark for 15 years. And you're gonna go. You're gonna grow one inch of stubble, knocked. And we're never gonna be able to come back here again. Thanks for everything. I don't want to do a quest here. Come on. She's a little different. Certainly doesn't fit the Imperial Army profile. Oh, there we go. Set sail for Atisha. I think this is the part where I get a really long cutscene. Maybe not, though. I think I might be on the boat. It's been a while since I played this game. Waiting for you in Altitia. 
be there as fast as I can. Literally. I'm on New Game Plus mode. Everything's easy. And I've already done all the fucking quests, and I don't want to do them again. Except maybe the Cup Noodle one. I'm kind of regretting that. It's the ultimate flavor experience. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's good shit. Look, Prince Octus. Even the marshal came to say goodbye. I guess it's goodbye for now. The ultimate flavor experience. Our rotted soil under br blighted sky. A dread plague the wicked has wrought in the light of the gods. Sworn, sword sworn at his side. Against the dark the king's battle is fought. From the heavens high to the blessed below shines the beam of a peace long besought. Long live thy line and this stone divine for the night when I'll come straight. Oh, there's the first yawn of me trying to stay up late tonight. Oh, God. Guess switch my sleep schedule. Something I gotta get off my chest. The shirt. Oh, it's core. Never mind. Not glad of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for you, father. There's something I need you to get off your chest. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what. There we go. Shit. Yeah. Here. Ain't nothing. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys on your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in him, always. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Hey, this is a new game plus, right? I know what I'm doing. God, core. Get off my back. Huh. Oh. Ooh, high passion. Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board. What do you want us to jump eight feet over to the boat? Asshole. <laughs> hey, your majesty. What's up? Please come back soon. We need our king. Yeah, count on it. Goodbye. There we go. End of chapter. Ooh. Gladiolus went up a level. That was interesting. Is that because of the extra shit we did? Looking for goofy pictures. That was actually would be a, not a bad one to have at the end game. What the fuck is that? What is that? 
Let's see. Noctis sniffing his armpit cam. Alright, alright. Let's save that one. Alright, what chapter are we on? Chapter 9, Callings. Noctis receives a warm send-off as he sets sail for a t Altitia in high spirits. The prince goes forth ostensibly to seek the blessings of the Hydrian, which will enable him to challenge the Empire's might. But his true heart's desire is to find Lunafreya, his betrothed. Yeah, they shouldn't have made a movie. They should have made a spin-off of this game where we could explore the rest of the world. You only get to see, like, a little corner of it. It's too bad. It's too bad. And in exchange, we get the ultimate flavor experience. The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altitia, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. And to think this is where we were headed to begin with. They've been through a lot, and there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. We need to make sure she's alright before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Luna Freya's in danger? <laughs> the Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith... Going down on Imperial turf. Short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. I gotta find a good place to put that innuendo. Does anyone know how Lady Luna Freya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravus. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion, but in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just it's on there it now. The Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it. But that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. It's on there as of like three weeks ago. Twice figured out why they wouldn't accept it. <laughs> the big idea behind that. 
It's because our title was too long. So it's just called Ultima Final Fantasy. Aha! Well, I hope you enjoy. We haven't done that many episodes in the last few months. Sometimes it helps, like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in our tissue for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl, if you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. I mean, you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah, only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big, okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. We'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change of scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodgings are a first order of business. All work and no play makes it us a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you, too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey, now. Westcombe ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah. Runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. And does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old West, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal. Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, knocked. Yeah.
Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. back on land. Uh, barely. They call it the Walls of Water. But it ain't just the walls. It's the whole damn city. Which is why we can't traverse the town by conventional means. We'll need to rely on gondolas instead. Yay! More boats. Hey, not huh? this. Catch. Uh, oh. Key to the boat. What? Don't you want to go sailing again? Are you sure? Why not? Old girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not even an awful driver like Reggie could sink her. A king can't rule with wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? 